Hi Robin with Odyssey Dry. And today I am actually back at the job that I had cleaned on Friday. This is Monday. And I cleaned this these two buildings, this one and the one over there, and I had posted the videos on this. And I cleaned them with the uh, roto wash. And um, as I expected, the areas in front of the elevator on two of the floors, um, I think are gonna be, will benefit from an additional go over with the rotary with the Iron Man pad. Um, and now that one spot that you can see right there, I just treated that. There was a little bit of a dark spot there, which I suspect might have been some kind of oil or grease. It was still visible there a little bit, so I just treated that. Um, but right in this area here, it's looking a little bit dingy still. And when I was cleaning it the other day, um, I did think to myself that it might be needing um, me to go over it afterwards with my rotary with a pad. Um, and this doesn't doesn't surprise me. I expected this. The um, CRB machine, which the rotor wash is, um, it's relying on the brushes to uh, brush through the carpet with the cleaning solution and then it's flicking the uh, dirt out of the carpet and onto the drum and extracting it out. There's some extraction happening, but the liquefied, the liquid, dirty black water, as it were, um, it doesn't pick it up very well. The bristles, a brush just doesn't pick up that kind of thing. Whereas the pads like this, where they use an OP or a rotary, are much more effective at transferring that visible soil. Not, not so much the particulates, which the, the um, roto wash would be much more effective at removing particulates because of the way it works. But this type of machine system, as it transfers the soil, soil extraction transfer technology will draw out the visible soils more easily and leave a more, uh, it'll leave the carpet visibly cleaner. So um, I'm gonna be uh, going over this area. And uh, this is some suspend in here. And um, overall though, um, I was just talking to the building manager and she's a pretty <laughs> funny lady. <laughs> and um, you don't want to mess with her. <laughs> but um, she's saying that she's very happy with everything, all cleaned up everywhere. Um, just to have these couple of spots here. And then I've got a, uh, some steps on the, in the other building I have to deal with. And I knew that I would have to touch them up because they were a real disaster. Someone had spilled a Slurpee or something on there. and. I extracted them and then used my uh, auric on them and I, I knew that I would be coming back to treat that. And uh, then there's in front of one unit, um, the people that live in the build in that unit, they live, they work in a pub, which is actually just over to the right here in the, on the same parking lot. And uh, the guy works in the kitchen in the pub. And so he's got grease all over his feet all the time and he's tracking it in and, and so, uh, you know, I've run into that before, where you uh, have to deal with a greasy scenario. So that's unusual. So I'm not saying that the the roto wash didn't clean effectively. Um, I th I think it cleaned fine. It's just that there is a limitation to what that type of machine will do when it comes to the oily soil that's impacted into the carpet fiber, whereas a machine such as a rotary with absorbent pads or fiber pad and then an absorbent pad or an OP, OP machine will more effectively remove that visible soil. So let's have a look and see. And clean this area. Um, and there was the carpet was actually, she's just told me the cleaners were here earlier today and they vacuumed it also. And, and by the way, one more thing, the cleaner I was using, which is Revive Rocket, is an encapsulating cleaner. So as it dries, it forms a crystalline form and as if the carpet's vacuumed, it'll release. So that would be occurring on the carpet anyway. So the carpet would actually be continuing to clean. But for the moment, I think that it's a good idea for me to just go over and uh, draw out any more of that visible soiling. So let's uh, see what happens here. It's going to be interesting to see um, what the pad looks like. I can see the carpet brightening up. It's 
looking much more even now. Um, this is why I actually firmly believe that soil extraction transfer technology, the SEP method, is a superior method. Um, the, the CRB rotor wash or multi-wash have, have their place. Um, I was using it actually again all day today in a big uh, condo building and uh, there were no real soil areas like what I have here. But uh, I think that that machine, hello, is uh, better suited for a carpet that's not two soils. Um, and if it's um, got a lot of oils and really impacted uh, soil, then I think the, the roto wash would uh, meet its match. Whereas uh, uh, rotary with either a fiber pad and then an Iron Man or an OP machine will produce a, uh, a better appearing carpet. But the uh, roto wash really pulled up a, a tremendous amount of uh, fibers and hair. Not human, not not uh, carpet fibers, but actual just particulates. Uh, uh, the job I was doing today is just an incredible amount of just junk that I was pulling out of the carpet. And that's where it has um, its greatest strength. <coughs> and the other thing is to remember that the, the, the um, with the way that the, the machine like that works, with its two counter revolving brushes it's literally pulling soil up and out of the carpet fiber but it's going to be depositing that um, onto the surface of the carpet fiber whereas a machine like a, a Cymex which is also an encapsulating machine will actually as, as it scrubs the solution they're using into the carpet it will actually push the dirt into the carpet so it's not going to be as visible on the carpet. It's still there because you're not taking it out. It's just uh, hidden. <laughs> so this definitely has a much more even appearance now. This is what I am used to seeing when I clean carpets with this method. A nice even looking carpet, bright looking carpet. So let's have a look. Look at the pad. Well, isn't that interesting? That's actually pretty black. Pretty black indeed. So that is what's left behind. Actually, I didn't expect it to be that black. <laughs> We're going to go over this again. With the B side. So I can see what the uh, this experiment that I've been doing over the last few days with the roto wash that um, what I've just concluded is that I will only use it if the carpet has got no visible uh, traffic lanes and obvious soiling because you just saw the pad that's quite alarming actually I found the, the weakness, <laughs> which I'm not surprised, I, I, but I needed to see this. We'll go all the way over here again. There's a little bit of an odd looking thing going on over here. I mean, overall, the carpet the carpet's looking good. Uh, other than right in front of the ele elevator there. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, 
that's quite concerning to see that much uh, visible soiling on the pad. I don't expect I'll be using the roto wash much at all in the future. I can't be uh, leaving that on a carpet. That's no good. Okay, well that's definitely later. But, uh, yeah. That's definitely a concern. Okay, so there you go. Um, for those of you guys who have been interested in seeing this little experiment with the roto wash um, CRB um, machine, there you go. There is an interesting thing to consider. Um, and there is a limitation to what these machines can do as opposed to a machine which uses the set technology, soil extraction transfer technology. Whether you use it a rotary machine which this is or an op it's going to be producing a better clean and a better appearance on the carpet because it's transferring that visible soil up and out of the carpet fiber so there you go i got to go do another floor and then i go across the parking lot over to that building and deal with that one and then i'll be done anyway thank you for watching have a good day